Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Screen is not seen, sir. That's right. Now it's now it's looking. Okay. Now it's looking. Yes, sir. I think now it will look. Yes. So in the last class we have created a BAPI function module which is a RFC function module. Yes, sir. So now today I will tell you how to use that function module and what is the client dependency like how to access the other client details in this. Okay. Sir. So I'll go here. SE38, I'll create a small program. I'll just call the BAPI which we have created. I will say parameters BUKRS P underscore BUKRS type P001 BUKRS like calling the normal function module I will call this and I will declare one internal table data I tab type table of jbapi underscore stru and yeah and work area also type jbapi underscore stru so now I'll pass this p underscore bookos to the function module and I will get the I tab here. Okay. Finally after getting the I tab loop at I tab into work area write work okay. area hyphen BUKRS okay. uh, comma work area hyphen Bootx Landex, yeah, Bootxt. Bootxt. What is your hyphen? Oot zero one. Oot zero one and Landex. Land one or Land. Land one zero. So this is my program and uh, let us check the output. Mm -hmm. So 
I should say. CYM underscore code. CYMP underscore name. Underscore name. City. Yeah. City. And country. And country. if condition now oh, and loop I'll go to T001 table for the time being So there are so many company codes are there. For example, if I give two 2000-2000 related cards should come. Okay. So 2000 related card was coming. Okay. IDES UK, London and GB. IDES UK. London GB this uh, record was coming up this is okay this is like a normal function module now what is the specialty of the RS function module now say for example I will log in into another client 810 so now I have logged in into 810 client. I'll go to SC37 and I'll check whether the RFC function module is available here. Is it available? It's available. Okay. So that means function modules or reports, whatever you generate, those are client independent. Table structures are client independent. Table data is client dependent. If the amenity field is there, then only table data is client dependent. dependent. You remember this concept? Client independent, yes. client dependent concept. Fine. Yes. So if, because now we are checking with 810. Uh, this this is because this function module is client independent. Function module is already existing in client 810 also. Okay. So tomorrow there is another server say EC3 is there another server I'm not talking about the same server different clients I'm talking about the different servers okay so then the this function module this RFC function module will not be exist over there okay so if you want to access the data in the other server okay. your RFC function module must be existing over there Remember, okay. if I want to access the other server data, RFC function module must be exist over there. Say for okay. example, I want to access the EC3 data related details, then in EC3, RFC function module should be there. Fine. So okay. remember that. Now come to come here come to our the our program so I want to create an RFC uh, physical connection between the uh, two systems so SM59 is the transaction to create the RFC connection in LSMW also we have done this uh, 
I'm not LSNW, IDOX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we are doing IDOX, also we have done this. So go here, select above connection, click on create. Give the RST destination name, some name, but capital letters. Connection type. Three connection type is three connection to the above system. Description connection from 800 to 810. Now I am in 800 and I want to connect to 810. Okay, so here you need to give the target host and the system number. Go to the SAP logon pad and see the application server IP address. And anyway, system number is 02. Do it over there. Come to log on security. View here English client. Which client you want? Eight. Client you want to connect? Eight ten. User A J K U S E R U S E R. J K user one zero four. Password. Give it. Now save this and now click on remote logon and, and test it, test the connection, remote logon. Oh, it's coming in error, coming up with error, wait one moment.
there was some problem in order state sense yes, let me check from 810 side whether we can able to connect from 810 to 800 at least So there is there is some problem uh, with the RFC. I'll leave it. So there is some problem with the RFC. So but I will tell you how to use the data. If we have a RFC connection, then actually we can get the data. But uh, right now because there is no RFC, we will not able to get the data. But I will tell you the process. So now uh, while creating the IDOC, we have created the RFC. Have you remember we have logged in from 800 to 810? And 810 yes. to 800 with the same process what we have tried now. Okay. Yes, so now what I want to do is I want to access the 810 details here. Okay. okay. So assume that you have created an RFC connection between 800 to 810. Actually, creating RFC connection is a uh, process. It's a uh, work of basis team. So if you want RFC connection between the two systems, you write a mail to the basis team. Basis team will create basis team will go to the SM59 and they will create the RFC connection and they will give it to you. However, I will just talk to the Raj, uh, Rajkumar uh, and we will try to like you know eliminate this error. I, I don't know why this uh, error was happening. So, we will try to eliminate this error and see now what I will do. I want to get the details of 810 so I will create a RFC connection between these two and then once I connected once I got the data once I created the RFC connection then I'll give a keyword like this call function jetbapi test destination RFC function module we have created with some RFC destination, right? Test or something else. Test or test one. We have I have uh, given while creating the RFC destination. So yes. we'll give this destination test. So that RFC destination name this is. So if you give this, what will what will happen? The cursor will go to the 810, and it will get the data. In the select query will get the data of the 810 related details. This is only one simple change. But if RFC connection could have happened properly, then we, we might have seen how it is uh, working actually. Now this won't work because RFC is not okay. there between the two systems. Okay. Okay. So only this is the difference. Only a destination and this is the RFC destination name, whatever you create. Okay. So that is the only difference. So then what will happen instead of 800, 800 details, 810 details will come to your internal table. Okay. Okay. Sir. So remember this keyword, call function module, destination, destination name. And remember RFC function module should always have 
this remote enabled module as checked. Check. Okay, sir. This button should be there. Yes. And I will uh, now uh, tell you, I will take some real time example of uh, BAPI. I will try to explain that to you. I will take one small program which is available in the net. So this is a sm small program which is already available in the internet to create the material. I will just try to copy it and I will explain it to you. So there are some tables, they have declared some tables, that means all these are structures. There should be somewhere big enough. Yeah. data big enough yes. yeah so data big enough i tab occurs zero occurs zero means what it is with header line with header with line header line okay. correct correct with header line end of i tab okay
So here, this is the test file to create the materials. So I told you right, BAPI is also used to upload the data which is there in the legacy system. So this is, use this as a legacy system, legacy file. Now I'll try to explain you the program first and then we'll go to the legacy file and we'll execute it. So now see, the thing is, SAP has several standard BAPIs. Okay, so one of the BAPI is uh, BAPI material save data. This is one BAPI, which is SAP standard BAPI. So for example, tomorrow uh, somebody will ask you whether have you done some uh, application using BAPI, BAPI function module. Okay, fine. So this is the application using the BAPI function module. So it is SAP standard BAPI function module, BAPI material save data. So the naming convention of the BAPI function module will start with the BAPI underscore. So if you go inside and see BAPI material save data. Okay. So here there are few details uh, available. See if you go to the importing parameters. This function module requires the header details, header data. Header data is the inputting parameter. So header segment with control information. So this is client data. When you, when you are creating a material, there are two types of uh, data. Again, client dependent data and client independent data. But this is a purely MM concept. Material management people will know, uh, will tell you about this. So there are. Uh, whenever you are creating a material, say for example, I will go here and I will create a material. Where to go to the transaction to create a material? MM01. Right? Yeah, MM01 if you go and if you try to create a material, give the material name, some name. Say for example, M1. Industry sector. See, in, there are several views over here. There are several views available here. So basic data 1 and basic data 2, these two views are client independent. That means if you create this view for a material in 800, 810 also the same view will exist. Okay. But these all these other views are client dependent. That means for 800, these views are specific and 810, these views are again specific. So it's not common. So, but this is not very important for ABAPR. So, like for ABAPR, for us, this is not very important uh, to learn which is client independent of the material, which is not client independent of the material. But the thing is, because we are using a BAPI here, see there are there is something called client data. Client data means the fields, whatever you are giving in the basic data 1, basic data 2, those, th those details and client data X. Client data X means information on update of update for client data. Say for example, in client data covers almost all the fields which are available in those, these views. So what are the fields are available in this client data? Let us see. Client data associated type is BAPI Mara. So in Mara, whatever the fields are there, all the fields it will cover. See, this is the deletion flag, material group, old material number, base unit of measure, base unit. PO unit, all these are there. But while creating the materials, you may give some fields. You cannot give all the fields while creating the material. It is not required to give all the fields when you are creating the material. You will give only few fields. Okay? So whatever the fields you have given, you need to make a confirmation. So here see Bapi Mara X. So in this structure I will I will say material group is equal to X. Then what it means? I have given a material group as an input to this function module. I will give old material number is equal to x. Then I have given old material number as an input to this function module. Whatever field you mark as x that you have given as an input, that means exporting parameter to the function module. Remember this. So 
so now if you observe see this is the header data okay so what these people are passing to the header data bapi method and client data client data they are passing bapi mara and client data x client data x they are passing it as bapi mara x okay and they are getting importing a return table id return what is this return table said uh, compulsory table sir for uh, importing for all bapis for all bapis return will be there as a importing parameter and yes, what sir. is the structure of the return it contains what is the structure of the return screens bapi ret2 bapi ret2 so see okay. Yeah, okay, we have created yes. already one BAPI correct. In that also we have used BAPI red two. See return BAPI red two associated type. Remember? Yes. This so BAPI red two has <coughs> something like message ID, message number, message uh, message four variables, message type, etc. So to handle this messages, okay. So now. they are importing id ret2 okay so they are passing some description in the internal table this is a description for the material they are passing it via internal table so now what we understand there is a function module bapi material save data so they are passing header data to it bapi method uh, bapi mat head this is a work area so okay they are filling this work area and passing to the header data and bapi mara bapi mara also have another work area they are filling some data and passing it bapi mara x is another work area they are filling some data into it and passing to client data but bapi mara x is something where you can fill only x to give as a confirmation and they are getting a return messages they will get into it into into this importing and they are also passing one internal table it bapi okay so now let us see how they have declared this bapi mat head how they have declared this bapi mat head see this is the structure bapi mat head these are having so many fields so if you go to the top of the table bap tables bapi mat head they have declared tables bapi mat head okay now what they are filling in the bapi mat head see first what they are doing start of selection start of selection perform upload file itab okay so they want to upload the flat file nothing what they are doing in the flat file upload flat file they are using the function module gui upload yeah. they have given the file name file type is ascii has file type separator is x why we will give this x it's a tab delimit Tab yeah, if, you, if your file has a tab separator, if your file has a tab separator, so you will give this x, and then you will get the data into the i tab. Correct? Yes. So what details are there in your file? Flat file. First one is material number. Okay. So the second one is um, material group, industry sector. So I will create one material and I will show it to you. It will become more clear for you. So what and all I have given? I have given a material number, industry sector, material type. So I'll I'll try to prepare an Excel. Material number. industry sector chemical industry correct 
then material type yes. is brings so what is the code for chemical industry where we can see the chemical code for industry. chemical industry c sir so we we need to ah c correct but where you can see that go to mara table So now put here, now put the cursor here, and select this. M dot. M dot is a material type, correct? Yes. Sir. So what is the material type we have taken here? Material type is drinks. Drinks. So check what what is for drinks. F T R. F G T R. F G T R. F G T F G T R is for drinks. Okay. So, F G T R is for the drinks, and what is this? Chemical industry. Chemical industry. Chemical industry is C. So C is a chemical industry and FGTR is for the drinks. And you press enter. Base unit of measure. You give the PC or kg. Next you give it. Okay, and then you give it here. Material group. material group something 001 or something you give it and finally save it your material will be created okay so now let us see the flat file so they are giving here first one is the material number okay second one is t t means what t means i'll show you what is t means not here mara table i need to go T is not there here. I will change T to C. So all all these things I am making as a chemical. RF, Next RF. one is R F R M. R F R M. They are giving R F R M because. that table we have copied from the net they might have different things we might have different things on in our sap system rfrm let us see whether it is there not there for us okay so i'll change it as something uh, like just now we have taken the drinks so for the for the drink what it is um, fgtr i'll change it as fgtr okay and then this is material group 001 i think we are all, we have also given 001 for the material group while creating this yes sir i'll take you on to that particular screen yeah material group is 001 i am giving so in the flat file they are also used all 001 that is okay and long ways in which language you are giving the description 
English and the description is this is test material here I am giving a test so instead of test this is test material will come okay so now let me check whether exactly tab space is there between fields or not It is always better to prepare this kind of files in Excel and then copy that to the notepad because here number of records are very less. I am trying to delete the space but if the more number of records are there, put it on the Excel and then save it as so a day of delimited text. Yes. So here there is one more uh, assumption is that a material can have description in different languages, different descriptions in different languages, correct? Same yes. material, but English language there will be one, de one description, in German language there will be another description, correct? Yes. Yes. So here what happened? All are English language as of now but sometimes what will happen when you get the data from your customer you might have two or three different different languages in that case how you will handle same material but the description will be different so based upon the style lango we need to mm -hmm. uh, Give the descriptions. Press files. Save as desktop. Okay, that text. So now whatever we have given here in this file, that file de de details will be coming to our internal table I type, correct? Yes. So I'll go to the program now. So whatever the details we have given, that will be uploaded, and ITAB will get the details. Fine. Once you get the details into the ITAB, now go to the startup selection once again. What is there? Perform upload file tab is there where they are using GUI upload, and next one is a perform call BAPI. In the perform call BAPI, now I'll double click on this perform call BAPI. In the call BAPI, what they are doing? Loop at ITAB. ITAB. That means take the first record. Okay. In the item, what is the material? What is the material is there in the flat file? Some zero, one, 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 or something. That material yes. number they are filling in the mat head. Mat head material. Industry sector. Industry sector is a chemical industry, correct? So that industry sector yes. they are filling it into the industry sector. And mat head. Um, mat head C, industry type that is the drinks or what it is material type so that material type they are filling and mat head what is the basic view so these are the things and how there are different views right when we are creating material there are around 19 or 20 views on which we are selecting the basic data one view correct yes, you remember sir. this yes sir so I will show you Mara or this
Okay. So here see there is uh, some error it was giving. Uh, what is the error? With the material type drinks external material number must not contain only numbers. It should also have some uh, letters. So I will say M11. Okay. Then it will not give error. Okay. So see, see here there are different different views. Basic data 1, 2, classification so on and so forth. Now I'm among the all the views I am selecting basic data 1 view. So that is what I am saying here. Yes. Basic view is equal to X. Okay. And now one more thing. We need to go and change the flat file now because it is giving error message if only numbers are there. Because in the flat file we have maintained only numbers. Correct? See, these are the numbers, but but it is giving if the if the chemical industry don't give the number, give the combination of letters plus number. That's what it is showing there. So I'll change it. Maybe I'll take it as M12. M13. M14. 15, 16 and so on. So now the next step. So now what 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 and all you have given? You have given a material uh, to the material head and you have given industry sector and material type. So this is the header. So you fill the header and you have also said that basic data one view you are selecting and then Bapi Mara table is there. For Bapi Mara table you are saying that I am giving the material group and base unit of measure. Base unit of measure you can give kg or pc whatever you want. If you want to give a pc you can give it or if you want to put the kgs you can put it. Okay and then this is a confirmation structure. Confirmation means marx which is ending with x. So confirmation structure you are saying that I have given a material group. Material group is equal to x. I have given the base unit of measure. Base unit of measure is equal to x. So this is called a confirmation structure. So if you pass x value it means that in the above you are passing the material group and base unit of measure and now so bapi langu so this is uh, what is this bapi langu so system. now you need to create you need to create a uh, description material description correct so for the material description you are passing which language this langu also there in your flat file your flat file we are giving yeah. language is en correct Yes. So we are giving that and this is a confirmation in which you are passing that language. This is something like login language and then the description. Okay, so this is a description and description is passing to the IT BAPI. And we are appending this details, only these details to internal table IT BAPI. Okay. Now I have asked you one question like tomorrow if you have a description in German language what do you do? Anyway this is an internal table IT BAPI you append it to the same internal table the other description also. That is why see all the, all the remaining things are structures only language related thing is internal table. Okay, sir. Okay, all the remaining things like material group, material type, otherwise base unit of measure, all these things you can give a single time, it is enough. But material description, different languages, different material descriptions will be there. That's why what, what happened here? SAP has given an option to put it in the internal table. If more records are there, you append it into this internal table. Okay. 
and after that so now we have filled the BAPI method so I am passing the BAPI filled BAPI method BAPI Mara and confirmation structure and then we are getting the written messages and then I am also passing the BAPI description here IT BAPI I am also passing this ok so after that once you call any BAPI to save data what we will do we will call this call function BAPI transaction commit so the BAPI transaction commit will save the data into the database if you don't call this BAPI transaction commit the data will not be saved into the database ok so now let me execute this and show it to you in a debugging mode how it is going on I'll put a breakpoint at start of selection and why this F4 file name for which purpose they have written F4 file name it's to convert uh, that uploading file is the no, sir, flat what? file uh, to give the F4 file flat file, file. Uh, flat file to yeah to give the F4 file so see to provide this button when I click on this yes. button pop up will come so this is coming from F4 help so I'll go yes. to the desktop in the desktop there is something called uh, just now we have created mat dot mat where it is okay select this now I'll execute so now we are in debugging mode we'll press F5 we are inside the upload data so after this function module what will happen our write up will be filled up so let us check the write up so now write up got the records ok so all the records it got come back now perform call BAPI now loop it right up first record it will take what is the ITAP material for the first record M12 M12 it will fill into the BAPI head material industry sector is chemical C it will fill into the industry sector material type is FGTR that is drinks so that also it will be filled in so BAPI method is filled and we are also filling the basic view is equal to X after that BAPI Mara structure BAPI Mara structure we are passing the material group 001 and base unit of measure is PC so we are passing that so and we are giving the confirmation in the BAPI Mara X so group material group is X, base unit of measure is X and now language related that means a description thing so write up language we have uploaded in the flat file what is the language is E and this is the system long ways BAPI material description what is the description this is test material that we are putting into this and we are appending into the IT BAPI because only one description is there we are appending only once if two records are there you loop it and append it one, one more time otherwise you write at end of material or at new material until that you append it use the control break statement and append this internal table so after this now we are ready with all the structures we are calling this BAPI so I'll press F6 
So all the four materials or five materials are getting created. After that, I'll press once again F6 to commit the material to write the materials. Now let us check what is the return it has given. Oh, it has given error. Unit of measure is something wrong. Message it was giving. See, unit of measure should not be PC. It's not defined. PC is not defined. So let yes, me change the unit of measure. So let me change the unit of measure to kgs. I'll execute once again. I removed the breakpoint. It will execute at a time. So now see all are S S S S S, and last one is E. Why? How many are there here? One, two, three. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Seven. seven success. Seven successfully created. Eighth seven one is now, error. Eighth one is error. What is seven material? How many materials we have given in the file? Only seven. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. But last one, what happened? Due to the space, see the cursor is going down. Yes, sir. So always better to remove any space. Put your cursor at the end here. And click on delete for some time. Always delete any space if it is there in your flat file. You should not. There should not be a space like this in your flat file. Yes. Then system will consider that space as also another record. So delete the space if it is there in your flat file at the end. Yes. So that is not actually an error. That error is coming due to the space in the flat file. Yes. Sir. So seven records were uploaded now. Now let us go to the SE eleven and Mara table and see whether M twelve has been created or not. M twelve M twelve is there created by JK user one or six today date. Okay. So and this is FGTR chemical industry material group is zero zero one and unit of measure is kgs. Okay. So like this, by by using the BAPI, you can upload the details, upload the materials, upload vendors, upload customers. For different different things, different different BAPIs already SAP has provided. No need to create by your own. Ninety nine percent of the cases we will use the existing BAPIs, but very few times we will use. We will try. We need to create our own BAPI. Okay. So this is how you can use a BAPI. Fine. So we'll stop here. Tomorrow we will be continuing with the workflow. But I need some small confirmation from Raj Kumar. Right now, what happening uh, in the workflow? Actually, workflow is something like whenever you apply for a leave. Say, for example, I'm I'm working as a uh, Team lead in a in my organization. I want to apply for a leave, so now I will apply. Then what will happen? My manager need to approve the leave. Mail will automatically go goes to the my uh, manager. Manager. Mail a mail with the leave request automatically goes to the my manager, saying that so and so person want to apply for the leave from this date to that date. Okay. Similarly, whenever my team members are uh, trying to put some leave. They, they will write a uh, they will write some mail in the sap then what will happen they will click on a button whenever they click on the submit button mail will come to me so then if i click on yes approve then i have approved it will go to the my next level so it will go to my manager automatically so that is something called a workflow but right now what happening in our sap system in ec1 um, it was not happen the mail was not going Okay, so I think here, the, the here also in workflow also there is some RFC problem. Today we are not able to create RFC, correct? 
the same problem yes, is happening in the workflow also and mail was not going okay so just tomorrow before coming to the class uh, just check check with the rajkumar whether mail was properly going in the workflow if it is flowing correctly we will go ahead with the class otherwise we will take the class i'll take the class day after tomorrow so that means whenever the error is rectified then i will go ahead with the class okay okay sir so tomorrow at what time sir if it is there tomorrow probably we'll meet at 3 o'clock tomorrow is a saturday correct uh, like every yes, saturday we are meeting at 3 o'clock tomorrow also we'll try to meet at 3 o'clock provided the mail system is working properly in basish nagar okay. sir yeah yeah before coming to the class just check with the rajkumar whether it is working correctly or not okay sir. okay sign bye bye